Scandinavian Design 101. I'm Sanna. I'm Andreas and we are two Swedes and we love design. Mm -hmm. And this video is a brief introduction to the ceramicist Axel Salto, master of the 20th century ceramic art. He's known not least for his rich glazes and or organic shapes inspired by nature. Mm -hmm. uh, in later years he became internationally recognized and his works highly sought after. Uh, this leading to rapidly rising prices. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The Danish ceramic artist Axel Salto was born in 1889 in the Danish capital of Copenhagen. He was the first artist in a family where all the men before him had worked in the military. But Axel's mother let the young boy use his artistic talents. He came to study at the Royal Academy of Fine Arts between 1909 and 1914. Before the First World War, he traveled to Paris, and it's said that he met Pablo Picasso and Henri Matisse. This trip influenced him immensely, and he came home with pioneering ideas and much artistic ambitions. He was after this an advocate for expressionism and thought about himself as an artist and thought of painting as his calling. <laughs> During this time, ceramic wasn't even on the map for him. Axel co-founded the progressive and controversial artistic group De Fire, mm. De Four, and also the art magazine Klingen, The Blade, which became an important forum for modern ideas. Yeah. His artistic focus shifted and his ceramic career began with the Paris World's Fair in 1925, where he worked together with manufacturer Bing og Grandal to create monochrome porcelain, which was presented in the Danish pavilion. But it was stoneware that came to be his passion, and between 1923 and 1950, he did about three 3,000 stoneware works. Yeah. It's very difficult to say 3,000. Yeah, for sweet it is. <laughs> Something with the tongue, I, I uh, can't yeah. really... Uh, move it on. Um, he worked together with uh, Karl Hallier. Yeah. And uh, Saxo Ceramics, and somewhat later the Royal Porcelain mm. Factory. For Axel, the stonework was a science, but also mm. a kind of spiritual act, and he was always inspired by nature and its inner force. Mm. He has said that it is of greater importance for an artist to create in the spirit of nature than reproduce its outer manifestation. Salto have categorized his work into three different styles. The budding style, the sprouting style, and the fluted style. But th there was some different names for them, but uh, yeah, I, I chose these. Yes, I think they are the best names yeah. in English. Yeah. And they are all a reflection of different stages of growing plants. He wanted his work to have an impression of movement, and they were all unique. Yeah, and very lovely. <laughs> uh, and in 1958-59, he held a traveling exhibition and sold his stoneware vases and bowls for between 5 and $88. Most items were sold for about $25, mm. something like that. Nowadays, he and his stoneware is hugely popular and sought after, uh, selling for sums many, 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 many times larger than the original purchase price. Mm. Um, and here's the top five auction hammer prices, uh, which all are in budding style, we think, we because think. it's a bit confusing, and I must confess, sometimes I really can't really tell the difference, but... Uh, I understand how they should look like, so I yeah, think I... we think they're all budding style. Uh, yeah. You uh, decide. <laughs> and here is the top five prices. And we start with number five. It was a, a vase sold by Brun Rasmussen in Denmark. And it, it had an estimate between uh, around 67,000 and 107,000 euros. And it was sold for 160,920 euros. And that's around uh, 182,000 dollars. Yeah. And then number four. It was a vase also sold by Piazza, and the estimate was uh, 40 to 60,000 euros. And this was sold for 175,000 euros, and that's around 198,000 dollars. <laughs> a lot of numbers here. <laughs> of course, it's the top five <laughs> yeah. prizes. And then top 
3. Uh, it was a, a vase sold by Bukowskis in Sweden and it was estimated at uh, 32,000 to uh, 37,000 euros and was sold for 176,671 euros. And that's around $199,000. Think about the original purchase price. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> it's a, quite a difference here. <laughs> and number two, it was a vase sold at Christie's, estimated at 70 to 90,000 euros, and sold for 260,000 euros. Mm. And that's around $294,000. Mm. That's a big difference between the estimate and the Very lockdown large. price. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And now to number one. Uh, and that was uh, a vase sold at Philips. Uh, in, it was estimated high at uh, 100,000 uh, to 125,000 euros. And it was sold for 389,484 euros. And that's around four hundred and forty thousand uh, dollars, yeah. and that's extremely much money for one piece of ceramics. Uh, and I would really be is. extremely scared if I owned that piece yeah. because if you drop it, you will lose like uh, four hundred thousand dollars. What will we do with it? Have it like locked in? Yeah, but you can't. You can't have it on the shelf because <laughs> it's and worth more than the, the house. <laughs> like oh, wow. almost well, probably. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and this was our introduction to uh, Axel Salto. Yeah. And if you found it interesting, please click thumbs up and subscribe. And follow us on Instagram. We are called Scandinavian Design 101. Yes, thank you for watching. Thank you.